Hello. I wanted to come out here and talk about, at some point, you graduate from LPN school and you may want to go on to become an RN. There's a lot of um, RN, LPN to RN program online. But I want to bring this to you to be very careful. The school that you choose may determine that hinder you in a way that you're not able to practice in certain state. Traditional LPN to RN program is going to school, a community college, preferable, and continuing getting your an associate degree in one year. You may hear the word bridge program, LPN to RN program, bridge program, auxiliary, acceleration program, one year to become an RN. And that's what I was in the beginning. And I went to a community college and got an associate degree. That's the traditional way. Now, there's a lot of, you can still become an RN online by taking classes. I, there's various schools, but what I want you to take note of, and one particular school, I think, I, the reason why I bring up this conversation, because I happen to come across working with a nurse, and she is an RN, and she told me that I was going to do an assignment in California. And she said she's can't. And I was telling her about it because I like to share information with my fellow nurse um, nurses that this assignment is going to pay good. They might just want to get into in on it. And she told me she can't get a California license. And I said, what are you? And she said she's an RN from New York. And she did take an Excelior program, LPN to RN. What happened is she take an online class where they go to it and give them a series of tests. And she did pass her boards and become an RN. Apparently, a few years back, this particular college, Excelsior, they are accredited in certain state, but California and Maryland, you cannot get a nursing license if you graduate from that particular school. And I will do, I will leave a link or do some more research and discuss it more. What I want you to take from here is new LPNs. I would prefer and I would advise to go traditionally um, into the bridge program. It's not one year anymore. When I went, it was one year, less than a year, because the semester, it was like nine months I became an RN. And that's because my LPN program was in a college, so I was able to take... Um, for my LP and I had anatomy and physio anatomy and physiology, chemistry, microbiology on the college level. Most LPN school, they just give you the basic anatomy and that doesn't transfer into college level. So you need to know that. So I went to a community college, continue on into a community college from an LPN to an RN. So it was less than nine months I became an RN. Be careful of those online courses. It's easy to pass. And this person is an RN. She worked with me side by side. A very good RN. But certain states, in the, if, you, if you're the type that like to travel and you may want to move to California. You may want to move to Maryland. You need to think this out based on your school, the choices that you make that it um, 
won't hinder you from becoming or from working. So I just wanted to come out here and say that school, I would think to go back to school is the better choice than to go online from an LP into an RN. You have more choices. Another topic I wanted to bring up, and I'm, I'm just touching base on, I'm back in town. As you see, I'm in the kitchen, not cooking. <laughs> anyway, I had a great time. I learned a lot, and I'm back home. So I wanted to bring this, because I haven't been on doing any video for a while. Another thing I wanted to talk about is... And this is very important for you, for new nurse and old nurse. Sometimes, points in your life, you feel like you give up. And the stress that comes about in your life may cause you to do things that you may regret. For instance, you may start um, drinking, and from drinking, it becomes more... And habit and alcohol to me is still a drug. It's a legal drug, I would say, because it you, you know people just do it, and unless they have a problem, but if it leads to, it can also leads to drugs. But that's not. I'm not talking about that. What I'm trying to say is, be careful of. What you do with your license, you always want to protect it, like I said before. And having the, a first DUI may not get you suspended. It may suspend your license, but it may not get your um, RN license suspended and sometime lost it. Not just for one DUI, but if it's a continued thing, because you now have a habit. What will you do? I know you reach this point where you lost your license and you don't know what to do. You had to surrender your license to the Board of Nursing or they take it away with no hopes of getting it back. Now you spend your whole life trying to become a nurse and you got this license and you started working and now before you know it, it was taken away from you. What would you do? I would say to a person who is at that crossroad, who at that point in their life wanted to give up because they know they cannot get back their license and don't know, I, this is the only work. When you've been nursing for all these years, this is the only thing you know. I would suggest you um, go into... Rehab, yes. But I also wanted you to think about another job. Maybe you need to mentor um, when you're clear and when you're sober. Others that um going through the same thing you are going through. Work at a rehab center. Because any, any job that you take that you want to be licensed they're going to see it, that you cannot have a nursing license. And it may hinder. So you might have to go back to things on a lesser grand level. So think about those things. I, I, and I happen to think about it because I work at a, a facility, and that was just crossed my, my mind. What would I do or what others do when they gave up their license or they had to forced to give it up and I don't wish that on anyone it's not easy to transit into another life when you that's all you know so I want to leave this video to let you know that if by chance 
you're getting, you're reaching that crossroad where you just, nursing is stressful, yes, we know. But we need to find a better solution, you know. Can't lose that license. And some people freely give it away. I, I wouldn't say give it away. Freely give it up. The stress is so much that they decided, I don't want to be a nurse no more. And it's your choice. It's your choice. Let it be your choice, not the Board of Nursing choice. I think you will feel more better if the decision was made by you. I just wanted to come out here and talk about little things that have been on my mind through my travel, people that I meet, and see what you, your thoughts are. What would you like to hear from me? And I, and I want to say thank you again. I've seen that my subscribers are growing, and I welcome you, and I appreciate you, and I'm so grateful that you gave me a chance to, I mean, I'm not, you gave me a chance, that's all. <laughs>